There was an interesting question from Jamila Harishi, one of the viewers, who asked, how can we fix a cracked tagine? Oh, well, if it's unglazed, a real tagine. So unglazed, no colors on it. No colors on it. And as, and we're talking about, it can have the glaze on the outside of the bottom. Okay. And it can have the out, on the outside of the, of the cone. Uh -huh. But if it's un, unglazed inside, inside okay. then you can fix it. And let me tell you how. Or totally unglazed. You take some milk. Milk. Now, you might, because it may be a really bad crack, uh -huh. you might put a pan underneath a pan. and put it in the oven and put about this much, about two inches of milk or an inch of milk. Okay. So you kind of cover the milk. Yes, uh -huh. and let's just let it boil away in the oven, an oven, an oven heat of about 400, 300 degrees. 300 It'll degrees. take many hours. Uh -huh. And then let it cool in the oven overnight and then wash it. Why milk? Mm -hmm. There's casein in milk. The famous Elmer's glue, which everybody in America knows about. Who knew? I know, but in America we grew up, you know, pasting things with Elmer glue. That's what they use. Milk. Casing. Yes, no, casing. Yes, milk to make casing. Oh, okay. Okay. If the milk goes through the crack, the crack to the bottom, it's a problem. Oh. And it might not work, but it's okay. worth a try. I mean, it's worth, uh, uh, most cracks uh -huh. are okay with just the milk. Okay. But if it's a real crack and it looks like it's wobbly, I can't okay, help Okay, weird you. question. Does it have to be fat-free or full-fat milk? Does it matter? I've only used... Oh, it's not on the diet. I mean, just, <laughs> just, you, can buy, you can buy a half pint of milk. You're not going to use it for drinking later. No, so the, it's okay for the tagine. The tagine is not on a diet, so full-fat <laughs> is fine. Right. Wow, that's an amazing tip. Well, actually, it's Mexican. Oh, wow. It's Mexican. The Mexicans do it and they eat everything in clay pots so so that's their thing but they, and it's very similar clay now some clay in morocco is made with mica and mm -hmm. it's, you know that sparkly stuff yeah that stuff never breaks if you have a chance i mean it's strong i have some in the house i can show you um that is so strong it's a little heavy uh -huh. but god i mean if it does break it's very very easy to repair because it doesn't ever break totally break like it's just, okay. it's so a just crack. Cracks. and yeah. that happens if you if you take something out of the oven or off the stove that's very hot and you put it on a cold surface it's going to crack so you should always put it on a cloth or on a cushion of some sort or on wood 